After watching this video, you would be able to understand all the things about the remoted factor test. So without wasting a time, let's get started. So first of all, you can see over here, what is the remoted factor test? All right. So it is nothing but a kind of a blood test. All right. In which we are going to find it out the value of RF. What I said, the value of value of RF. So now you might be wondering about what is RF. So RF is nothing but a, an antibody. All right. So about the antibody right now you are thinking antibody is something which is gonna you know kill the pathogen or the foreign molecules and it is the part of our immune system. Yes you are right but it is RF is a kind of auto you know I am writing over here auto antibody. So it is you know once because the work of antibody as you know it is you know gonna kill the foreign molecule but here okay this rf or you know this antibody is gonna you know kill or damage you know our immune system or our you know our body so it is you know a kind of antibody which is gonna and it is also said to be autoimmune you know autoimmunity as well and you have you know studied in 12th class about the autoimmune disorder as well so now you can you know see over here what is the rf test for like why do we need to do this test all right so the people or the person okay may experience you know or may suffer you know from the joint pain all right and you know many pain stiffness swelling weakness in joint and all okay we'll talk about it but first of all okay once you see or you know when we need to do that at the time you know uh, when the you know doctor you know think that you know you do have an autoimmune disorder or late right, autoimmune disorder or you know you have heard about the remote arthritis as well now let's talk about the you know as i told you when this test needs to be done so as i told you that when once you know makes you may experience pain in joints stiffness swelling and weakness in joints low grade fever fatigue weight loss as well at the time okay what do you need to do you need to you know do that test as well this test as well now let's talk about the uh normal what are the normal ranges of rf or that you know as, as i told you that is remoted factor so if the you know if 14 iu you know per ml if it would be you know increase the number will be the value of this okay will be increased so we'll consider as a positive all right so the test will be positive but if you know it will be you know decrease you know then the, from this value so it would be considered as a normal all right so if you see okay this value or you know just more than this so it would be considered as a rf positive now can you have a high rf or you know remoted factor if you don't have remoted arthritis as i told you the remoted you know factor test is done for the you know the doctor have a doubt about the you know she or he can have the you know remoted arthritis or the autoimmune disease so that's why it is you know done but you know in case when the rf you know the, you know it comes positive but okay you don't have remote arthritis arthritis so yes it happens okay in the case of you know if you have a uh, bacterial you know infection bacterial all right i'm just gonna write over here bacterial okay viral all right and the parasitic infection as well so at that time okay uh, once you you will have these kind of things at that time also you know rf factor will be positive can you know it can come you know positive as well and you know habit uh, in the case of hepatitis syphilis okay and the tuberculosis as well in the tb and one more the important you know syndrome that is you know jogren syndrome all right i'm just writing over here Jogren syndrome so in these you know case okay if you're gonna do the rf test so at the time the ra you know uh, that rf you know test will be you know come you know positive and all so it doesn't mean that you do have a you know remote arthritis and all so now the you might be thinking that what are the reasons of these you know autoimmune disease that you know once the rf you know factor becomes you know positive uh, it is you know considered as a you know ra or remote arthritis and all but okay the doctor also you know want to do or you know he can also uh, do the you know for the confirmation and all that you do have a remote arthritis or the you do have a autoimmune disease so there will be a many test like you know cbc okay and e esr crp ana all right and the anca all right these kind of you know test okay can be done to confirm that you do have a you know you do have a remoted arthritis and all 
and the, what i was saying i was saying about the reason so reasons you know can be anything else like you know uh, a genetic reason from the you know genetic it, it can be inheritable all right genetic reason all right and the, from the infection as well all right and the chemical reason it can be a chemical reason all right from the diet as well from the you know dietary habits okay it can easily you know uh, you can have the you know remote arthritis or the rf positive rf factor will be positive all right and the medicine as well so these are the things okay these are the things from which you know you can have the autoimmune disease and all uh, it was all about the remote factor test so first of all okay as i told you what is the remote factor test so it is nothing but what a blood test in which we are gonna find it out the rf value if the, it, if it will be you know positive so you do you can have you know autoimmune disease as well so and the what is rf so rf is like an you know auto antibody and it is you know work against our immune system so that's why okay it is said to be an autoimmune disorder as well and the what you know and why we do need to you know do a rf test so if in the case of autoimmune disease and the remote remote arthritis as well and when this test needs to be done as i told you if you have these kind of symptoms okay uh, here it is mentioned so at the time you need to you know do that rf test as well rf test is you know it is also commonly known as ra test as well all right and what are the normal range so the normal range okay if you will see 14 iu per ml okay and if the it will be increased uh the number will be you know can be increased so at the time okay it is also said to be a considered as a positive all right if the number will be decreased you know from this so it will be considered as a normal all right and uh, and the question over here that you know sometimes the rf positive you know it is positive but it doesn't mean that you do have a remote arthritis and all because in the case of you know bacterial viral parasitic infection hepatitis syphilis and tb all right and these you know uh, syndrome as well in the case of that okay what happens the rf you know positive rf factor okay sorry the remote factor test okay can be positive so it doesn't mean that you do have a remote arthritis that's why okay what we need to do we need to do more confirmatory tests like cbc esr crp ana nca as well and the reasons for autoimmune disease as i told you that are genetic infection okay chemical dietary change and medicine as well now the test okay as i told you and i have also written over there that is cbc cbc you know it is a completely blood test if you know about these you know if you know about uh, more about these tests okay i can make a you know separate video for that okay for that you just have to watch this video watch it okay and subscribe our channel as well and hit the bell icon so that okay once you know i'll make the video you will be able to get the notification on time so the cbsc cbc all right cbc means the complete blood test all right the is esr that is erythrocyte sedimentation rate crp that is c-reactive protein ana that is anti-nuclear antibodies and the last one that is anc that is anti-neutrophil cytoplasmic antibodies so with the help of these all the tests okay we can confirm okay that he or she has what the remoted arthritis or autoimmune disease as well so this was all about that as always thanks for watching